Well, students say they don't feel safe. Teachers are quitting, parents demanding answers. 8 News now has shed light on violence inside our schools, and now Governor Steve Sisolak is weighing in on the issue. The 8 News Now I team's Vanessa Murphy joins us with more on her one-on-one -on -one interview with the governor, Vanessa. Yeah, Kirsten and Brian, Governor Sisolak seemingly calling out school district leaders like the school board for failing to take appropriate action to address violence in schools. To be clear, the governor doesn't oversee the Clark County School District or any other districts, but he does oversee the Nevada Department of Education. He points to the estimated 5,000 reported violent incidents at CCS schools during the current school year. Recently, CCSD superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara announced there will be stiffer consequences for students responsible for violence like expulsion and that teachers would have access to panic buttons. Here's what Governor Sisolak told me earlier today. There has to be a consequence, a swift, immediate, firm consequence for these actions because people should not be in jeopardy. So are you saying you believe those consequences aren't happening right now? I don't believe they're happening right now, no. I don't believe they're, they're quick enough. I don't believe they're firm enough. And I believe it's putting teachers in a real tough, vulnerable position, you know, that they have trouble controlling, you know, students. Now, the governor actually sat down with us to specifically talk about his health care provider summit tomorrow, which will be live streamed. We'll have a link for you at 8newsnow.com. But we tried to get in some additional questions and address other topics like school violence, as you heard him there. The Health and Human Services Secretary will join him tomorrow to make an announcement about a mental health initiative. And the governor wants to address other issues affecting our state. One of them is Nevada's severe nursing shortage. He says the pandemic really highlighted that. Back to you.